Hey everybody, Mark from the Geek Church here, and you caught me gaming. And if I'm going to game, I might as well be sporting these great new pair of headphones. And what type of headphones are these? Well, they're the Astro A10. And these are some great gaming headphones. This is the Gen 2, I am told. And as you can see, I'm using it to play some, uh, basically just any type of game. Because according to this, this says they're compatible with the PC, the Mac, the PS5, the Xbox Series X and S, as well as the Switch. Now... So, but as you can see, it really wants to let you know that that's PS5 compatible. I'm not really certain why. Um, these are definitely wired. As you can see, I've got the wire right here to prove it. And are they good? And I'd say, yeah, they are very good. How good are they? Well, let's just say that, uh, honestly, I've been playing them for a little while now, and I'm starting to get into this game. By the way, this game here, if you don't recognize it, it's Myst 4. If you're not familiar with the Myst series, I don't know if I should write about them or something like that. I really feel like it's something that just really needs to make a comeback, but yet I'm not even sure how or why, but I, I, I better not digress here. So basically, the this uh, A10 series is really great because I uh, got these great headphones here that are noise canceling. And speaking of noise canceling, we got this mic here. Instant mute, once you flip that up, no problem. You can just uh, keep going with your game in case you have some interruption or something like that. Um, oh, also, normally I don't do this with this, but look at this. I can't think of anything else I can bend like that. So I'm going to go with that. These are just terrific uh, headphones for you, for all you gamers out there. So I highly recommend getting them. And if you want some for your own, you can get them for about $59.99 on the Astro site, and I really hope this isn't the last Astro product we're going to be reviewing on this website. It just seems like we should be reviewing more of them. So, basically, uh, it's been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, and I am signing off.